Moving on, Aditya L1, the Indian Space Research Organization's maiden solar mission, has entered the final orbit to discover the mysteries of Sun-Earth connection. Aditya L1 spacecraft in its final orbit is located 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. The mission aims to observe the sun's corona and understand its extreme heat from a halo orbit around the first sun-earth Lagrangian point, which is located roughly 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. The seven payloads of Aditya L1 are indigenously developed by different laboratories in the country. The Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope to image the solar photosphere and chromosphere in near-ultraviolet and to measure the solar irradiance variations in near-UV. And Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi lauded the ISRO's feet. In a social media post, PM said that nation has created yet another landmark. India's first solar observatory, Aditya L1, has reached its destination, which is a testament to the relentless dedication of scientists in realizing among the most complex and intricate space missions. PM applauded the extraordinary feat. PM Modi said that nation will continue to pursue new frontiers of science for the benefit of humanity. And as the Aditya L1 traversed its way towards the L1, there was pin drop silence in the mission control. The Israel scientist finally achieved the target and rejoiced. The project mission director, Nigar Shaji, who has been steering the mission throughout its journey so far, says nothing is impossible. Nigar Shaji spoke to DD India and shared a joy of Aditya L1 success. India's big achievement has a woman behind this success and this woman is uh, the director of uh, this project Aditya L1 who has successfully executed this mission and uh, put Aditya L1 at the language uh, point and along with the ISRO team I have uh, with me uh, Niga Shazi who is the director of this uh, Aditya L1. She is smiling, she is jubilant about the project, success of the project and also the fact that it is once again the Nari Shakti that we see at ISRO rules. <laughs> No, it's uh, nothing to do with the Narish. <laughs> it is the entire team of ISRO. It's uh, of both men and women, say, yeah. because equally they have supported and uh, it's a combined effort of the team effort. It's uh, nothing very specific about Narish. So now what do you see? I mean, uh, Aditya L1, will it uh, now live up to the expectations? Because five years period. So what are the expectations from uh, scientists post uh, this mission success? Yeah, this post this, uh, all the payloads should operate well and we should have uh, exceptional and outstanding science outcome. That depends on the scientists who works on this data and uh, find an outcome which should be very helpful in uh, enriching our space weather knowledge. So the spacecraft can, uh, in as and today we have a lot of fuel left uh, with it, we can live beyond its life. Yeah. So it can go for, uh, as everything goes well, it can go for beyond five years. Now the challenge is to maintain, uh, you know, the payloads uh, and uh, since it is closer to the sun, the temperature will be extreme. So how big is this challenge once the payloads are activated? Ah, no, the chem because as I have told every time, this is almost 99% away from the sun, 1% uh, away from the earth. So the temperatures are uh, not uh, very alarming as you think. Okay. It's a little higher than what we are supposed to be getting at the geostationary. So only thing here, uh, that it will be because it's in a constant facing the sun, we have uh, challenges and that uh, we, with our thermal design we are overcoming it. There is uh, nothing to alarm. So what is the role of ISRO now after this uh, entire thing? Uh, once the data is coming, the Indian Institute of Astrophysics will be decoding a lot of data. Yeah, this is uh, once it will be in the ISRO's control and the payload data will be disseminated and given to the individual payload uh, principal scientists okay. and they will be uh, doing the process on that and it will be finally the data will be deposit depository will be uh, in ISRO and uh, further it will be open to public so public can uh, so all the scientists all over the globe they can use this data and uh, derive science outcomes this was uh uh, Nigar uh, Shaji talking uh, to us about uh, the successful mission that she has executed along with the team ISRO and uh, she says everything is possible uh, and if there is will there is way with cameraman Balu Aisha Khanam, DD India, Bangalore.